Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel and good morning on a beautiful day in London's Covent Garden where we're here for the complete start of the 2018 Gumball 3000 Supercar Rally going all the way from London to Tokyo in Japan. We're going to see 100 plus cars crossing the start line with the flag waved by none other than David Hasselhoff. There are a lot of weird, wild and wacky cars, some crazy designs. Let's take a quick walk around and then it will be time to check out the full start as the car Let's get rolling. The atmosphere here is buzzing. We've just had the photo call down at the start line with all the celebs, so the likes of Usher, Giggs, Jillian Air, Hasselhoff, Bun B's back, Afrojack is back, Eve is back. And as you can hear, the cars are getting ready because in a moment, we will be getting started on this 3,000 mile adventure going from London to Chantilly in France, to Milan in Italy, to Bologna, to catch a flight over to the other side of the world, to Japan, landing in Osaka, to drive to Kyoto, to Nanao, then via Mount Fuji, to the end in Tokyo. This is all happening in the next six or seven days. It's tough to take that all in. We'll be driving in my AMG GTR, bringing you all the videos of the journey. Let's just take a quick look at some of the glorious cars that are here in this lineup. We were just listening to Josh Cartoo's 812 Superfast, flanked by an Aventador SV and a stunning wrap on a 720S from McLaren. Beyond that, we've got a 300 SL Gullwing, a G500 4x4 squared. This is the EC only one, a prototype brand new car. Next to that, the Pagani Huayra that you can barely see through the crowd with its Gullwing doors up and open. At the end, you've got the KTM Crossbow. That bike is gonna be car number one. I got bike number one, not sure what to call it. Then over here is Kit, we can't see that. But the first car is just coming. This is car number one. The reason they're departing first is because they raised the most money for the Gumball Foundation through the charity grid. This Rolls Royce Wraith raised over 100,000 pounds for the Gumball Foundation to go to a number of different charities. And their prize for doing so is to lead off the start of the 2018 rally. They will go first in a moment with the flag dropped by David Hasselhoff. So let's follow them down to the start line and get ready to really bring this journey to a beginning. Team number 28, followed by team number 29, the matching Rolls Royce Dawn, but let me get down to the start line right now. Come on! Team 28 are on the way then, they've got started. It will be next one at a time as each of the cars make their way down the start line towards the photographers at the end. And number 29 is now on the way also. Off they go, it's time to rally. Look at that interior, lovely. Off they go then. Off goes the pink Rolls Royce and Dawn as well. So a trio of Rolls Royces to lead this year's rally. They're off and they're away, heading out of London on towards the Euro Tunnel to France. We've got a Lamborghini Mercia Lago LP670-4 Super Veloce in satin black. These guys next on the grid, team number 96 from Ireland. So they make their way out and they are off and on the move as well. Nice B12 in that thing. Off they go. It's not their first rally, but listen to that sound as they rev their way down. Next up, it's a Range Rover SVR Team 121. They've gone with the Rising Sun theme on that ramp. That's a good sound for that car. Next up, we have a very nice Ferrari 812 Superfast, and this car is actually painted in that bright green. They didn't need to wrap it. Team 42 in the latest Ferrari front engine V12 Grand Tour. One of the very best cars, I think, to actually drive a Gumball 3000 with. Perfect car for it. They've come over from Canada, British Columbia number plate. I love what these guys are doing with the 911 Turbo S with the spare wheel on the top. Also done a full printed wrap on the car. It's all about the effort and being part of the rally. Oh, and they're immediately followed by the RS6, team number 116, an Abt RS6. I drove in an RS6 two years ago from Abt on the Gumball 3000. Great car for the purpose, comfortable, lots of space. And we had loads of t-shirts to give out along the way too. And just to give you a sense of quite how much variety you have on the rally, we've got a DMC DeLorean with a stainless finish. And they're off from Georgia. Over from the USA to take part in this year's rally and immediately followed by a door from Andorra. Currently being blocked from going around the corner. So many photographers and cameras about, obviously. Team 77 though are next out of the grid to embark, almost silent wafting away from the Rolls Royce as it gets on the move. Then we've got the start of Team Masters of Speed with the G500 4x4 squared. And being down here, this thing feels absolutely massive. Team 51 off-roader. Masters of Speed bring a number of cars on the rally each year. That's just one of them. They've blasted away, but we've got more to come. 
from top effort on the wrap from these guys in the DB11. Look at this, colourful as you could imagine. It's kind of like a candy, a sweet of some description. As they head on off as well and they get on the way, DB11 gum, perfect plate for a gumball car. And there is also a Lamborghini Aventador S that has kind of joined the grid here that's just driving past as well. Taking part our previous gumballer too, Team 57 in previous years, taking part this year, but it does sound good. And a London taxi, that's not on the grid at all, but that's fitting right in. Bentega getting on the move, Bentley Bentega Team 59, closely followed by a Ferrari GTC Ford or so. And this rounds out the grid the team. He says as we get some sounds from the B12, the teams that raise the most money for the Gumball Foundation. First part of the grid. <laughs> top effort by all of them. Top, top effort in raising money, supporting charities. You can see we've got a Gullwing coming. The 1950s Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing then as it cruises out gently with the doors going up. A bit of fun. Unusual car for the rally. I got acquainted with one recently doing a lot of miles with it. Now this is DJ Afro Jack in his Lamborghini Aventador SV just coming down now. He's a great sport. He's taken part in a few Gumballs now including being a previous Spirit of the Gumball Award winner. The Spirit goes to the team to put in the best effort to really encompass the atmosphere and experience of the Gumball 3000s. He's driving in the Aventador SV this time around. Now we have Josh Cartu, he's a lone wolf this year. Team Wolfpack again, previous winners of Gumball Awards. Josh I've filmed with many a time. He's number five in the 812. How you doing, Josh? All right. You ready and set? Looking forward to get on the move. Let's hear some noise. <laughs> Josh is always good for a nice rev, and that rap is awesome. So following him out is the Masters of Speed AMG GT RS. RS for rotors out, you can hear me over the noise of the sirens. Decked out like the old 300 SEL race car. They're off, I'm driving in one of those. Mine will be further towards the back of the grid. And then we've got the EC only one. And now this is an Italian track supercar. It's been launched just a few days ago. It looks like I just missed Josh doing a burnout down there, unfortunately. But these guys are off full track spec. I can see they've got harnesses, sliding windows. But listen to the noise. The noise that made as it got on the move there. Crazy, crazy sounds. I feel like this ground might be full of some black marks by the end of the day. And we look out there, what's coming next? Now the fun thing about this car, the KTM Crossbow, is that these guys are actually getting married tonight in France. They're having a gumball wedding when we arrive in Chantilly and they're driving in a KTM Crossbow that they brought over from California in the USA. That's gonna be a wild ride. Let's hope it doesn't rain on them. They've got a roof box as well for their luggage. But that's the thing built for the track and they're driving it on this road adventure. Coming out now then, Team St. John in the McLaren 720S with the UK flag at the front and the Japanese flag at the back. This is an awesome, awesome route, the way they blended in the start location and the finish location. And it's a great car to be doing the rally in as well, the 720S. Off they go, but now we have a hypercar following them. The Pagani Huayra with its gullwing doors now closed. Yellow paintwork as it comes on out. Properly special car. We're going to be visiting Pagani in Italy when we get down. It's based near Bologna. We'll visit the factory. And you can hear the noises of the sirens behind the NYPD police cars. There are three of them taking part. Off it goes. Look at that. It is beautiful. Now behind them you can hear the noises of the three NYPD police cars. The sirens going. They're German registered cars but they're loaded with their lights and sirens. And V8s by the sound of it. And you can see the confetti flying everywhere. There are three of these guys driving together. Maybe they'll look after us if we have any trouble on the way. Out comes number three, the third of the NYPD police cars. They make their way. I wonder if they're actual police car drivers driving them from America. Either way, we've now got a Porsche Turbo S with the roof down, representing the Rising Sun theme again with the wrap. Comfortable car to be driving it in Turbo S. Team Alpha are coming in style. Purple eyes, as they're calling it, with two purple cars, Saturn Purple, Alfa Romeo, Giulia Quadrifoglio, with the purple smoke coming out to go along with them. They've got the Giulia, they've also got the Stelvio coming up that way. And off they go. Dubai from the Middle East. They are on their way for their, I think maybe third or fourth rally now, those guys. Awesome to see them back. And here comes the Stelvio with Jason in it. It's Jason. Jason, say hello. This is why he's not with me. He is driving with Team Alpha. Have fun, guys. Off they go. 
every single previous convoy or previous gumball I've ever done has been with Jason. Just Jason as we call him. But he's off now with those guys. He moved out to Dubai. Team 64 and the G63. G wagons are always cool, aren't they? Closely followed by Team Aztec, Team 91. We're going to have a bit of a sticker war with these guys as this rally goes on, I think. They better watch out. Their F Type SPR sounding incredible as it blasts down 5 meter V8 in that. Now, this is a team and a half. Team Salomon, Ryan Salomon driving in his Aventador SB Roadster. Fully chrome, illuminated, absolutely nuts car. Look at this thing. Team 88, Tron striping, lights everywhere. And you can see how much tension it's getting just from the crowd here who are immediately chasing it. Off they go. Their previous gumballers, I met them I think back in 2012 when they did their first one back then. They're on the move. And this is one of my favorite cars too on the rally, the Lexus LFA. Very on theme given that we're heading out to Japan. Look at the wrap as well, the Japanese flag kind of inverted up the center. Sorry for all the people walking through us. But this, with its NAV10, is one of the best sounding cars ever. Maybe we'll get to hear one of them as it goes, but stunning, stunning noise it makes when it does accelerate. Well, if you can hear it, unfortunately, a bit quiet over the music that's playing here right now. From supercars to a Ford pickup truck, you can have just about anything taking part in this rally. These guys, well, they're prepared for just about anything, aren't they? They've got four up, lots of space, probably lots of stuff in the back. America right there, guys. California, Platinum Motorsports. Then, look at this. Ferrari 288 GTO has come over from Australia. A 288 GTO, super rare, super valuable. I mean, that's worth two million pounds or so. Perhaps the most expensive car on the grid. And there it goes, driving away. A yellow one at that too. This is Team Hell in the chrome pink McLaren 720S. It's a fuchsia color in the sun today. This is epic. The guys are awesome. They've done a couple of rallies. And look at their number plate. Literally hell. HE11. And there goes Richie, photographer on the skateboard. Well, followed by another 720S in blue as well. That is really a great car for the rally. Loads of practicality with the space that's available between the seats, but still all the performance, the coolness, the rareness, the specialness of a car that you want for the Gumball 3000. Then almost immediately behind, we've got a 458 Italia, the Coupe. Obviously the sound of that, 458 standing for the 4.5 litre V8. And there it goes, we can hear it as they blast off. Then one of my favorite cars of all times, the McLaren Mercedes SLR. Roadster. Obviously, big long front bonnet, rear wheel drive, but the ultimate GT. So much style and exclusivity. It's timeless, it still looks so good. They're followed as well by Team 11, the Bentley Bentayga. A couple of those taking part, but you can see why. Comfortable, powerful, great grand long distance tourer. Another printed route, Team 135. 911 Turbo S again, another popular car because it is lightning quick. Maybe not so much sound, but that got on the move incredibly quick. And off goes Josh Cartoon's Phantom, chasing them to the next stop. Then we've got some more flares going up in the back. We've got Team Pog. So I'm going to go for a quick walk this way just to get a little bit closer to the action of Team Pog. Guys, the Now we've got a Lamborghini Urus, brand new. I think they've just taken delivery. That's the car I expected to see. We can hear the noise of the 4 litre by Turbo V8. They're revving away as they head on down. It is seriously, seriously busy here. As you can see, we've got normal traffic coming through, but the start line is where all the action is taking place. Just up there in front of us. A line of cars here coming together. We've got a Hurricane armed with Lamborghini's extra parts, the carbon wing on the back of it that you can see. Then we've got the Porsche GT2 RS following that. Ultimate and turbocharged track car, a bit of traffic's building up. And then we've got a BMW Z8. I love the Z8. I drove one recently on a trip with BMW. They brought that over from Russia as well. It's very cool with the dual tone paint scheme that it's got going on. But the cars all lining up, making their way out. 
they get set to depart. This is really Gumball in a nutshell. Another printed wrap here on the Ferrari GTC for Lusso. Lots of people making so much effort with that. Happy 12 sounding heavenly. Next up, we've got a Ferrari 488 Spider. Of course, lots of Ferraris that take part in Gumball. I think Ferrari all from New Jersey in the US, followed by a Merc SUV as well. Is that a GLE? You always have to check with these to make sure, yeah, that's a GLE. Lots of those, lots of Mercedes around. They're supporting the rally this year. We've got another McLaren 720S. This is the MSO Velocity, the gold wheels, the carbon fiber that you can see through the paintwork and the blended paint that runs through the car. It was a limited run. I think they only made about 20 of them in total. 720s launch. Very, very nice paintwork on that car. They are immediately followed by another Aventador. Like I said, so many Aventadors. A flip paint on this, flip wrap. We've got a lot of purple going on, which looks incredibly nice. Aventadors again. It's gumball in a nutshell. It's loud in this crash. Then we've got a Ferrari F12 Marlinetta. Bright yellow team 39. Lots of Americans taking part. That means they've shipped their cars from the US to London. And at the end, they'll go from London to back, oh, sorry, from Japan to Tokyo and back home. That's good. Followed by another F12 Berlinetta straight behind as well. Team number 41. Now this is how you do a gumball with your entire team. You bring a people carrier, the full camera crew in there ready to film the rally as they make their way through. Flares going off everywhere. The guys in the rain here flaring away as they can and go. So let me continue down. We'll get down towards David Hasselhoff. He's driving in kit, the car from Knight Rider. This car is set and he's going to be the next one to the pie. He's just stepped in. We've got Max Cooper, Gumball founder, right here, just sorting out some things before David crosses the line. Eve as well, right next to me. This is this is the hop. The car has been signed on the dashboard, and the hop is off in kit. This is his car. It's, it needed to be done. I don't think he's driven kit on a Gumball before. Max is having a few words with him before they get on the move. Just got married, so the half in kit. He is always here on Gumball. He's omnipresent for a reason. He's entertaining, he's great to have around. Anyway, let's head down and see what else is on the grid. Up next, we've got Max Cooper and his wife Eve in the Aston Martin DB6 Volante, a classy way to drive. They always drive in different cars, but they are off in the DB6. The classic Aston Martin. What are we still having? So what's next? Flares are the thing of the Wrap they've done on the Lexus LC 500H, and now I've got completely lost in the smoke. But let's continue this way back around the grid slightly. 458 Spider, out ahead, keep walking through. We've got a GT2 RS rocking the lights as well. Lots of cars from Germany taking part. Two GT2 RS is obviously pretty nice. Massive wing. There you go. So let's keep walking through here and see what else we've got. Check out this wrap rusty police style RS6. That's become a trend recently, but it looks really good. Nicely done on that one. Then look at this, LFA Nürburgring edition with the glitter that is shining so bright in today's sunshine. There are only 50 of these. Another car that's come over from New York. And again, venturing back to its homeland in Japan. Look at all the uh, glitter and lights it's got around the bottom. Then we've got another Wraith right here, Rolls Royce Wraith. Ferrari California T. We got a Ferrari Speciale. Look at the wrap on the Speciale. Very nice one again. I mean, Speciale is a cool one. The sound is nuts. The RS6 is revving up for us. Oh, this F12. I love the wrap on this Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. This is really, I mean, this is it, right? This is Gumball. This is all the cars getting set. Look at the effort then from these guys over from Dubai. The bright chrome red. They've got cameras mounted absolutely everywhere. The red wheels. And if we come around towards the back, take a look back here. For high speed runs, they've even got a parachute that comes out. So they've flown it over from the UAE for the rally. Then we've got another 911 Cabriolet, followed by a Hurricane Performante Spider in bright green. Obviously the Peter here sound very good. That, that's just it's Carrera GTS that we just walked past. The new Performante Spider. We've got a 911 GT3 in crayon or chalk, depending on what you call it. Flat six. A lot of you asking me why I didn't bring my one of those. Well, the AMG GTR just seemed to make the most sense. Next up, it is Usher driving in the PAC Mono. A proper race car for the road, being driven by the legend himself, Mr. Usher. So he's off getting a route card in that. I'm not sure how helpful it will be. You can see it's busy here. AMG GT's lineup right now. But there's a car coming through from behind. I 
to think this might be Cloud Gang. It is indeed Alyssa Violet, Samurai, and also Rice Gum in the back. Big YouTubers, these guys from America. It's their team from America, and that is a stylish way to be driving it. They brought that car over to the US as well. Now let's continue down the line here, past the first AMG GTS, on towards the next AMG GTS. <laughs> nice masks, guys. Then we've got an AMG GTR, but we'll keep coming down. Quite similar to mine, but not my one right here. Ferrari California T. Nice effort there as well. <laughs> this is, well, this is proper vibes right now with everybody gearing up. The final bits. Corey Tape Spider. Not sure there's room back there, but they've managed. Nice one, guys. Don't fall off, please. Be careful, be safe. Another 812, again, one of the cars for the rally, like I said earlier. Bentley Continental GT, then we've got the guys from India. Now this thing makes a lot of noise in a very colorful chrome wrap, quite a crazy thing. They've also got a carbon bonnet. It's a Carrera S, but my word, does it make a noise. We heard it in the garage, popping fireballs out the back, but they brought this over from India. Let's see from the number plate, I think. Then we've got a chrome M4, but let's keep walking down past the cars here, past a bright yellow luminous G500 4x4 squared. Come down a little bit more on the RS6. There are so many cars here taking part in this year's rally. The lineup just goes on and on. Another 812 super fast. Another Dodge SRT from Sweden. Team Draken, these guys with the cars that match or matching liveries. 458, Italia as well. Here we get to the Phantom Drophead Coupe. They've got clearly a lot of stuff they're throwing out to the crowds that are waiting. In fact, they've got mounds of stuff that they're throwing out to the crowds that are waiting. Another 720S coming through now as well. This is, well, quite frankly, mayhem with all the cars. Amazing to see the destinations, countries, Sweden, Alaska. That Phantom's in Alaska. Right, let's get to the other side. We've got a Ferrari California, Mercedes AMG GTS. Audi RS6, Range Rover SVR at the back in that blue colour, instantly recognisable. This is a solid wrap from the guys on a GTR. Lots of AMG GTRs taking part, like I said, but they've gone to a lot of effort to nail this one. Team Scursion Racing, they take part every year. See them a lot. And that's the sound of the AMG GTR. Heavenly, 4 litre by turbo V8 from AMG in a Falto back. Love that noise. Another 812 super fast, blipping away as it makes it way past us. That noise, it just revs up so quickly. And we've got a Ferrari 430 Spider. Might even be the only 430. From Texas. Hey, with the confetti cannon as well. They're going to end up filling their car with that though. Then we've got an M4 GTS Chrome at the front. Now I wanted to see this wrap out in the daylight. That's a lot of work's gone into that. Very, very nice. Another American car from Florida. Then we've got an RS6 with a wrap too. This is what we did with the RS6 last year. Used it to sit up on the outside. Perfect viewing point to be able to chuck stuff out in the crowds and the like. But uh, the RS6 again proving very, very popular on this year's rally. Round towards the back. Trying to work out the wrap at the back on the bumper. Another GTC for Lusso, another popular car for the rally, of course, good reason. Brilliant thing to be driving. After a short break, it's not over yet. Team 10, Fun V, how you doing? Is off in the Range Rover, followed by a CLS, followed by another Dodge. Those are popular this year. That thing bubbles. And then we have the Jeep Trackhawk, ridiculously powerful thing, again in chrome red, followed by a Ferrari 488 GTB, yep, GTB not a spider. Now this wrap is the one that I was kind of trying to work out, seemingly quite drawn on, but different style. Porsche Panamera, comfortable, sensible way to be doing the gumball. Now hopefully, my car is going to be emerging from somewhere down here in the not too distant future, but there is one more that I actually want to come around and show you if I've still got any voice left after all the music. I'm sorry for talking over the music the whole way, but just to give you a bit of insight and info about each of the cars. So let's keep coming through where they're just actually covering it up. The McLaren P1 GTR has been on display right here, and now it's going to be vanishing from display, but of course not road legal, not being driven. You can have it converted, and then hopefully, you can see down there, my car's going to be emerging. Lamborghini Huracan Avio with the Stripe Limited Edition paying tribute to the Italian Air Force. Number 911 Turbo S, M4 GTS, the car's coming in thick and fast here. And I think, oh no, there's an AMG GTS coming. 
This is a Bentley Continental GT3R, very rare machine. There are actually two GTSs on the rally. This is actual solar beam paintwork, the colour that my GTR is very similar to, hence why I quite mistook it there as it was coming towards us in the sunshine. Then we have a G63 in a similar colour as well. This is a little Mercedes crew going on as well. So the S-Class here with the new grille at the front end. It is literally a non-stop line of different cars coming through here. It's actually hard to believe the cars are still coming, but we've got an Audi R8 V10 Plus, followed by a Lamborghini Huracan Spider. Huracan's been popular on the rally. Then we've got Mercedes G63. Behind that, Aston Martin DB11 Volante. Literally everything from the supercar world mixed in with things like the Formula One car behind. Then we have the GT3 from Mr. JWW just heading towards the start line, followed by a Panamera Sport Turismo, followed by an AMG GTR in the satin grey. So you'd like to think that mine has to be coming in not too long now. Behind that we've got a DB11, then we've got another Rolls Royce, we've got a Ghost here, behind that I think we've got a C63S, let's keep walking down this line just to take them all in. This is literally an entire team of, well, just everything, isn't it? What, what are we looking at here? Is that the C63? Normal C63, not the S. The new one has the new grille, that's what confused me. Turbo S, 488 Spider. Here's a nice highlight. There's a McLaren P1 taking part. I didn't even know that was on the grid. Volcano Orange, Team 161. The cars do just keep on going. But I'm not complaining when the likes of that are coming past us. Hybrid 900 horsepower, like this wrap on the GT3. Team Douth. Another Hurricane Spider, another Bentley, and look what I can see. I can see benzene driving in my AMG GTR. We'll be able to jump in in a second, right down at the very back, only a Range Rover behind him. This is the car for our journey with its country camo on it. Here we go, so cool, wrapped by Dub Custom, stick it up, and in a minute, it'll be time to get to the start line, get driving across, and make our way ourselves. The guys right in front of us are ready to go, which probably means it's time for me to jump in now with Benzine Ben to go on our way. Ben, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm so excited. You've been sitting in a traffic jam for long enough to get this far. <laughs> yeah. It's about. go time now, though. <laughs> Sounds good. The flag is waving. This is gumball time. Here we go! We're on the way out of London, and I think you might remember earlier when Team 91, Team Aztec, departed, the guys in the F-Type SVR, I talked about how we frequently had sticker wars with them. Well, I've jumped in the car, and I've noticed what's over my shoulder here, just as we come alongside another gumballer and a Hurricane Spider, but there is a Team Aztec sticker on the inside of the rear quarter window. I don't know how the guys did that, but we are going to have to get them back, so stay tuned for that, but that has basically been the complete start of the 2018 Gumball 3000. Over 100 cars, all different types, prototypes, race cars, celebrities, supercars, some crazy designs and liveries. A lot of effort has gone into it from all the participants, but this is the start. We have six days ahead of us on the road, plus a flight to Japan. About 100 of the cars will be flown over in three different planes. We'll be in a passenger plane as we make our way to Osaka. This is really the adventure of a lifetime, and now we're on the road towards the Euro Tunnel, so make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed, there is plenty more to come from this drive, the 3,000 miles to Tokyo. So thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will catch up with you again very soon. Cheers!